We're going to be talking now about how to show up for the client fully. So let's ground ourselves and get present and go to a very different energy. We're in the space of being present to ourselves, accepting what's going on in ourselves. And you think there's a load of hocus, give it a go for two or three years, then come back and report. So we're just gonna just move to being grounded, centered, feel whatever we feel. It could be judgment, impatience, compassion, interest, whatever it is, just tune in to your body and where you feel it. Whatever's coming up, allow it. Don't resist anything that's coming up in your body. Anything your mind's bringing up, you don't need to resist it. Just accept it, acknowledge it. Just say something like, you're here. You're here. So if you're the client, you might find yourself being judgmental. Hello, judgment. Getting impatient with the client. Hello, impatience. Then you get mad at yourself for being judgment and judgy and impatient. You're going to say, hello, anger. I have my judgment and impatience. <laughs> then you're going to be mad at yourself for being mad at your judgment and impatience. And you're going to say, hello, madness at my madness, my judgment and my patience. We're just going to be really tolerant of all of us. There is nothing in us to resist or reject or suppress or deny. We all have this going on, the mental chatter, we can't turn it off, it's there. Especially when you start out coaching, uh, it seems to raise the blood pressure on parts of us that worry about enoughness and worthiness. And who noticed that when they started out, the voices got louder around, can I do this right? Am I doing it wrong? What do I do next? What's the best question to ask? Our mind's going to overdrive and they accelerate. We're just gonna accept the acceleration, has anyone ever done this before? Just a simple mindful compassion. So just be mindful, Doreen, I'm loving your hat, and compassionate of whatever's coming up. There's no point in being mindful without compassion because mindfulness, you can be mindful of your anger and then annoyed at your anger, and that's not progress. It's about bringing compassion to the emotion. Because if you go into internal family systems, IFS therapy or any of those types of modalities, we quickly learn that there are all these parts in us all the time. We can't get rid of them. They're always going to be there. And the more we resist them, deny them, suppress them, get angry with them or judge them, they are aspects of us that we are judging. Does everybody hear what I just said? So there's a part of you that you don't like, or you try to reject, or you, you're sick of it, or whatever that tone is, that's what you're doing to you. And to me, healing is integration. Wholeness is integration. Wholeness is not inverted commas, I'm fixed. Wholeness is acceptance of all that is. You have in you judgment. Yeah, you do. You have in you anger, sadness, fear, intolerance, snap, snappiness rejection of people because they remind you too much of a part in you that you haven't dealt with. All of this is going on. And every time we judge ourselves or harsh with ourselves because a part of that rears, its, rears up, we're saying to ourselves, I reject me. So whatever comes up, we're going to accept it compassionately and sit with it.